Hello and welcome again to Favorite Things. Today we're going to change it up a little bit and I want to showcase a digital watch that is very special to me. This is my Casio W400. This one and the many similar models are referred to as Marlins. It is a precursor to the G-Shock watches that were introduced in 1983. I got this watch when I was 12 years old in 1984 and the store my dad bought it for me from stood for decades in the corner of a Los Angeles strip mall until a couple of years ago when it finally went out of business. Interestingly, the space is still vacant. Here's a photo. The shop was called Teletime. This was a big upgrade for my crappy free digital watch that I got from Pioneer Chicken as a special offer. This watch had a price tag of about $30 at the time. The mineral crystal is pretty scratched up, mostly due to a nasty bike accident I had in 1989 where I skid out on a road that was being resurfaced on my way home from school. In the mid-1980s, these watches were all the rage. I remember me and my fellow elementary school classmates would have our daily alarm set to the time that the school bell would finally ring to let us out. I still remember that being 3.32 p.m. It was great hearing all the digital watch alarms going off at the same time. Some were Casios, some were Seikos, whatever else was popular at the time. The first Marlins were introduced in 1981 and used the Module 108. This one uses the Module 106, and there are a few models using the same module, but with some slight variations on the screen. But if they have a Marlin, they can be called Marlins, not to be confused by the Casio Duro analog die watches that are also called Marlins due to the similar fish logo on the dial. Also, not to be confused with the Timex Marlins, which are also very cool, but quite a bit different. The Marlin signified the 100 meter water resistance rating, which I think is pretty impressive. This is the W400, like I said, and I like it for its blue screen. The first G-Shock was introduced two years later with the model DW-5000C. There are some highly collectible rare Marlin versions, but I will leave it to you to do your own deep dive and investigate that on your own. I'm going to walk you through the features and functions, and I'll point out some of the things that I think are no longer available on today's Casio digital watches. I'm not very knowledgeable about modern Casio watches, so please comment with any corrections in the comment section as I consider my videos just the starting point for the information available, and your comments and discussions to be an integral part of the knowledge base. By the way, here's the packaging for this W400. So like I said, it uses the module 106 digital movement, which was used for other Casio models, including some metal Marlin models. It's a four pusher, and here are the four buttons. Setting the time, you can set each digit individually. Not sure if many modern watches work that way anymore. You cannot hold the button down to quickly advance the time. So pace yourself as you're gonna be pushing those buttons many times. Once you are close, you can synchronize the seconds with a reference time by pushing the bottom right set button. If you're at less than 30 seconds, it will zero out at the current minute. If you're more than 30 seconds, then it'll zero out on the next minute. You can switch back and forth between the 12 hour and the 24 hour time with this bottom right button. The next function is the stopwatch. This used to be my favorite. Even when I wasn't timing something, I loved just watching the tenths and hundredths of a second. It looks so cool and technical and serious. The countdown timer is next and you can set it from anywhere between one minute to 24 hours. It has a unique alarm when the timer goes off. The next function was the alarm screen. Here you can set the alarm, turn it on or off, but also you can activate or deactivate the hourly chime. Actually, it's semi-hourly. I think it's cool and a shame that modern Casios don't use this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're only an hour chime, not a half hour chime. Here's the common double chime at the hour, but then listen for this single chime at the half hour. The strap is 18 millimeters and a bit tricky to put on and off the lugs. There are metal Marlin versions, but they don't have this characteristic octagonal case shape like these resin versions. An all metal version of this watch would be really a nice addition to my collection. Maybe the W150-2. The upper right button is a reset button, but it's also the light button. 
and I would imagine it's taxing the battery the most. I always loved how the light reminded me of an old school swimming pool lamp. One of my favorite features of this watch is a special feature that I think I happened upon myself. If you synchronize the alarm with the timer alarm, you will get a distinctive alarm sound which is different practically every time you do it. I like to offset the two alarms so you can hear one, then both combined, and then the other one. Simple pleasures in life, right? Anyway, that's basically it for my W400. Please like this video and please add to the knowledge base with some comments down below. Thank you and I'll see you at the next one.